Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Talking Witch. I'm your host and one of the only people's report, Mr. Yannick Pierkowski. We are here home for Wichita City versus Hanwell in the Southern Premier League. As always, I'm joined by the one and only Peter Keane and, of course, club stalwart, club legend, Mr. Kev Watkins. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, Yannick. Yannick, uh, afternoon. Um, you have team news, so. I do. I won't read the team out because no, there's so many changes. But, yeah. um, Basically, Dan Jones is back in today. He's been out with flu and an injury, I think. Um, we've got Trevor Cable back as well today. Welcome return for him. Yeah. Uh, the centre back partnership is Mott and Rose, which uh, did as well at um, the last few games. Uh, they played. And uh, uh, Macker and King are back as well in, in the full back positions, which you know, is, you know, makes us a lot stronger. So, technically, we're almost back to full strength as we, we were. Pretty much full, yeah, full, about as full strength as we can be. Now, thank you for that, Kev. Now, Pete, as you well know, last time we played this scene was an absolutely mad game of football. Yes. It finished 4 all. It was like nothing I've seen in a long, long time. Um, I'm going to be honest, I hope it's nothing. I hope it's something like that, but hopefully not, we don't see so many goals. We'll see. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, it's just... It was a mad game. Uh, they're a decent club, well run. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a tough game today, no doubt. And like every game, as we always say in this league, is yeah. That um, I can't remember like how the score went in that game back up in uh, Hamel when we played them. But yeah, absolutely. Uh, we went one nil up, two one, and we were two one down because you went for a pet pint, came back out, and it was four half time. You, how are we two one down? And then it was two all, so, very yeah. three two. Then we had a player sent off, and it was three. So, so basically, blame me is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was, yeah, basically, it's your yeah. fault, yeah, basically. But no, all joking aside, it was like one of those topsy turvy games. Oh, yeah, it, it probably is most Momentums. Like, yeah, one of the most entertaining we've had this season. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. yeah, like you say, they're, they're obviously they're the last in the league, but, you know, they, they, their form is a, a bit hit and miss. But, like you say, any. Anybody on their day could be anybody in this league, so you can't take anything for granted. No, totally have a tough test. Yeah, totally good. Uh, Kev, um, I would say the two biggest factions in our, or three biggest factions in our season so far, have been injuries when we get hit by them. Um, Sorry about saying the next one. The weather, Mother Nature, and our dear friends, the referees. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I know people remember about the referees, but for me, I mean, they, without them, there wouldn't be a game. No, true, true. And, Fair point. You know, they, they give what they see. Yeah, we don't yeah. always agree with it, but that's what football is about opinions. And Quite right. Same with players, you know. Yeah. We, we see, when we see the team, we think, oh, we wish some, someone was playing something. He shouldn't be on the bench, yeah. should be playing. You know, we don't know what's going on. I mean, yeah, it's so. It's, yeah, referees are big this season. But then yeah. I, I was in Germany a couple of weeks ago and I saw a referee in the um, fourth division and he was absolutely horrendous. And I said to him, don't ever, during the said, don't ever met, moan about the rest of the Southern League ever again. <laughs> I've seen this guy and he's like, oh, yeah, no, I'm about to yeah, but, you know, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's safe it's, everywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, the weather's going to be not got any momentum going this year. We've had a good game or two games and then we've had like, 10 days or a week off of the, of the weather. Yeah. And then we've tried to get going again and then the weather hits again. And, Obviously today obviously it's going to be a bit foggy out there, but yeah. at least the game's going to be on, no issue. Thank you for that. Abandoned. Yeah, thank God for that. And also, we, we're not as bad as some teams in this league, I'm not going to mention names. But, go, on. Uh, go on. Go on. Well, Plymouth Park, wait for starters. <laughs> um, you just have to do it. Yeah, I did. I couldn't resist it. Um, we haven't got as many games to catch up on as like other teams do, no. but we do have a bit of a packed End of February into March. Yes, uh, next three weeks will be Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and then I think after Murph on the second, it's a two week break until we play. Um, no, sorry, we'll be away at Plymouth on the fifth, yeah. won't we? And then it'll be an 11 day break till we have Paul at home. Exactly. But then after that, as long as the weather holds, you know, we should just be playing Saturdays. Or uh, West Hampton. Yeah, that's it. And yeah. hopefully we'll have a few more points on the board and uh, we're all good. Yes, 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 that's so so. Anyway. We will, thank you very much, gentlemen. We will see you at half time. Is the Rock on Yes, yes, yes. Of, of course, Mr. Half Time will be with me, Mr. Rock on Way, and we will see you then. Take care. Thank you very much. Go on. Oh! Hello and welcome to the Halftime Report here. It's Winchester City nil, uh, Hanwell 1 and Rob Conway. Shall we just do a copy and paste from the last three Halftime Reports me and you have done? Uh, hopefully because it means we haven't lost any of them. Yeah. But yeah, it, pr it pretty much the script so far has followed everything. So yeah. yeah. Um, start off, look decent, yeah. um, have a, a few decent chances, 
uh, and then coming at half time behind. I know. Yeah. Uh, they scored with, I think, they, uh, our keeper, of course, Super Luke Conway in goal, has made. Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that good. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, my apologies. Uh, made a great, made, he has made a couple of great saves. Yeah, yes, he made some good saves, and, and the goal itself, it, it, it looked like it went through a couple of bodies yeah, in the air. Yeah, much, much yeah, like, uh, yeah, caught me in place, and uh, I don't want to be that guy. Who keeps moaning at referees? Maka, Maka has been sized down knee high. Trevor has been kicked in, in the, the head, head. Yeah. and like both of them have gone completely unpunished. And uh, honestly, uh, I, I, well, the, oh. the 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 Maka one is it's knee high, but his other foot's come through and kicked exactly, straight down. Exactly, yeah. And the the the, the, the one when um, Trevor got kicked in the head, he gave a goal kick. Well, if he hasn't got the ball and it's he's kicked in the head, well, it's, it's, yeah, it's either a penalty or. A foul, but it's not a key. But there are two of the worst decisions I've seen this season. Yeah, and by yeah. the way, we, we can say a lot on that decision. That's what I mean. I, I'm hoping that history does repeat itself because the last couple of day, games we've done this, yeah. second half, we've come out with a rocket up our ass. Yeah. And um, I, I'm, I'm confident we'll get something. Uh, we will score a goal today. Yeah, yeah. As long as we stop them scoring another one, we'll get something out today. Uh, can yeah. I just also say we haven't played badly today, Winch? No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Um, yeah. We, we'll get something out today. Yeah. Hopefully, I'd, I'd, yeah. I'm going to go with Rob on that one. Definitely, uh, hopefully, you know, full time we'll be here with a positive result. We we'll speak to you then. Finish Winchester City one, Hamwell one. I'll come to Adam Bestwick first. Um, Adam, no more than City deserve was at least a point after that game today. Yeah, definitely. I thought we were superb today. To be honest, we created we created more than enough chances to win the game. Credit to Hamwell's defenders and goalkeeper for keeping it, uh, keeping us out. Um, but no, yeah, we were good. And um, a point. Uh, there was one point where we thought maybe we wouldn't come away with a point because we were losing quite late on. But a point, I think, is quite fair. And also, I'm going to give special praise to someone who was a bit down. A couple of weeks ago, the score score, Simba. I uh, finished it well. Yeah. I know you didn't see <laughs> well, it. I saw the goal. Yeah. I didn't realise it was Simba's Simba. score, but yeah. He was a bit down last week. We saw a couple of weeks ago. We saw him. He was a bit down. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like any player. Every player wants to play every week. Yeah. The squad we've got, we've got a lot of quality in the squad, and yeah. you know, players have got to be patient. And uh, today he was. He you know, obviously came on and, and scored equaliser, which uh, Adam said, you know, no more than it. What possession we had in the second half. And, uh, and everything, so yeah, it's, I mean, going into the game, you know, both sides had a similar sort of record, so I thought it was going to be a draw today, and obviously it was, so, but again, just a point, a point, another point gained, and yeah, just a bit of positive. Yeah, uh, we're on, we're in 10th position, on 40, I think 40 mm. points, I'll be on 40 points, magic 40 points, magic 40 points, um, get another 8, we match our total from last season, so yeah. Yeah, it'll be pretty good. Yeah, it would be pretty good, and it just shows the progress that, that we're making, you know, year in, year out. Um, sort of from when I started watching, which is you know, four or five years ago now, and um, every season we've, you know, finished higher than we have the season before, and I think that shows the real work ethic and a real uh, desire to be better um, that, that we have. And, with saying that, it is unbelievable that we're 12th in this league, the 10th in this league, yeah. with the budget that we have, and... Um, the fact we haven't won a home on a Saturday yeah, since April. Testament to the players Saturday. and the staff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And also to the fans, obviously not, not giving up and always supporting the team, which all fans should do anyway. But well, yeah, we do. Win, lose, or draw. We, we always yeah. do. You know, we, you know, we love to win every week, but it's not possible in football. And, no. You know, we, all we ask is the guys to give 100%, which they always do. You know, they yeah. always try. And if it doesn't come off, then so yeah. Yeah, move on to next week. But no, today, yeah, it was... We kept going and we got the prize. We did. Interesting question. Do you have a man of match today? I know putting you on the spot. Yeah. I know we're yeah. 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 See you next time, Saturday, George. There are a number of players who were. I don't think I could pick up one particular no, match. There are a number of players that were really excellent today. Luke Kearney. Yeah. Um, made some unbelievable saves. Trevor looked 
um, yeah. really dangerous down the right hand side. You know, Maxi Basil, all those in the yeah. midfield, really fighting. Simba, IK Hill, I thought. IK, IK Hill, yeah, I was about to say that oh, down the yeah. left. Down the left was, thought, was really I, dangerous. I don't think we played badly at all today. No, no. no. And mm -hmm. I think you have to give credit. I mean, the keeper made a great save later. I think yeah. that was from was that the like uh, I think it was from Max Smith. Matt Smith. Yeah. It was a great save for me down there. Which he made, made he made quite a number of good saves actually, yeah. and he was. Um, but yeah, he was, he was a good sport. Yeah, sound guy. Uh, yeah, um, wish him all the best. Yeah. Um, hopefully, Kev. <laughs> fingers crossed. Choose the away at Paul. Yeah, hopefully we get the game finished. <laughs> uh, as us. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not. Nothing disrespectful about Paul Town. It happens we've had floodlight failure here, you know, so we yeah. know what it's like. It's just one of those things that happens. Did it happen last year? Oh, something happened last uh, season as well. Yeah, <laughs> well, we've got to be called off early, yeah. anyway. But uh, hopefully we get the game done. And yeah. um, I don't know how Paul wants today. Uh, they were losing at one point. They were losing. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously our way from school, we played well down the last season. We're happy to win 1 0 when the game actually finished. Yeah. Um, and um, hopefully we can go down there and put on a positive performance and get a good result. Let's hope so. And I'm now joined by uh, Winchester City manager Craig Davies. Craig, a uh, hard fought one point today for Winchester today in what was tough conditions and a tough game. Yeah, absolutely that. I think um, yeah, we thoroughly deserved it. I thought we played uh, played well at, at, in spells. You know, half time didn't think we deserved to be behind. We had the better chances. Um, you know, their physicality was a problem. You know, long throws, things like that. And, you know, they, they, they deal with that well. And I just thought we get enough territory to stop them from having the chance to do that and that's what I said to them at half time that you know, there's no point matching physicality with physicality because we'll lose we're much much stronger team than us physically so what we need to be is but, you know, a bit more intense you know, with our presses and, and our um, desire and then you know get the ball down and play when we can on a very very difficult pitch and well, I mean I thought we'd have a goal I can't really watch it back because it's a brilliant goal yeah, um, I'm just going to actually pay special tribute to Simba. I know he's had a bit of a rough time, but he took his goal brilliantly, and yeah. he's done really well. I know he's had a tough time stuff, but I thought he took his goal brilliantly. Oh yeah, no, yeah. No, no one can question Simba ever. But, you know, he, his attitude's spot on. He's been a bit in and out of his form. I've you know picked him and dropped him and left him out and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought he was man of the match really for his for his performance in the second half. He held the ball up, Benny him all the way. Uh, secured it for us and um, yeah, great guards, you know, chuffed for him. Yeah. Um, there was a mad five minutes, shall we say, in the first half where, shall we say, there were some shocking fouls on our players. Yeah. Um, Josh got a oh, horrible sorry. one about thigh high, uh, Trev got kicked in the head. It was a bit of a mad five minutes, that wasn't it? Yeah, I can't <laughs> say too much no. about referees, but um, yeah, we. we we don't get on the right side of the refs, you know, blame, you know, dislike for us as a club, me as a manager, as a management team, whatever. But surely got to turn at some point because it was a blatant penalty. Yeah. I mean, it's either a penalty or a or a, uh, it can't be a you know, it's got to be a corner. Otherwise, yeah. it's not a yeah. goal kick because he's either kicked him or you know, kicked the ball off. So. Yeah, I, I, I shudder to think what goes through the head sometimes, but yeah, yeah. Like there wasn't there was like the reason for the, for the result wasn't going to say down to him, but it could have made it a bit easier. Yeah. Help us a bit more. Um, hopefully, uh, Tuesday will be away at all, depending on Mother Nature and the weather. Another tough game coming up for us. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they, um, you know, their uh, program notes for today. Uh, um, the captain said, you know, two very winnable games that they've got coming up, which is obviously Basel State today, which they lost, and us Tuesday. <laughs> so, um, you know, they're obviously gone in for us, uh, and we'll have to see what happens. You know, their expectations as a club is to well, to be promoted. There's no doubt about that. The players that they've got, the caliber of players that they've got, you just signed Josh Stoughton from you know, why was it Yeovil Town last year? It's a couple of prayer. We can't compete with that. You know, it's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, we'll have to go and uh, give it a good go and. I'm sure there'll be a bit of pressure on them so they haven't won a few games in a row. You know, similarly, we're fighting and scrapping for as many points as we can get. You know, there's 12, 12 odd teams looking at us today, you know, over their shoulder, or all, all looking at 8th. You know, anyone could finish from anywhere from 7th, 8th to 20th, you know. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to it, a bit of a game, and uh, let's hope it's on. Let's hope it's on. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing you Tuesday, and well done for the book today. No worries, cheers. Cheers, thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. We will see you, hopefully Tuesday, uh, for the game. Uh, so see you then. Same which time, same which channel.